Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're starting to catch up to the egg carrier, kind of. Maybe. Uh-uh. Who's gonna come? Probably me. Oh wait, never mind. I'm not gonna nerdgasm today. Although this part is kind of fun. It's time to go catch up to the egg carrier. Tails has came. Okay, stop with the dang came puns here. Or come puns, whatever. These are not supposed to be... Well, I guess these, these aren't M-rated videos. I was going to say they're M-rated videos. They're more like uh, lewd humor teen-rated videos or something like that. It's not like I'm swearing up a storm or anything like that. Sex ed is taught in schools nowadays. And, uh, like, when they're like 11 to 13 or something like that, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I'm kind of out of the loop now. I, I don't really pay much pay much attention to those things anymore. Well, anyway, as I was saying, we're in now into the Sky Chase Act 2. Uh, it, if you don't recognize the name Sky Chase, you obviously haven't played the, the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Genesis, which is too bad because that game is awesome and you are missing out on a lot of things. So anyway, uh, as I've explained before, just hold the button the whole time so you can lock on the things, even things that you don't even see yet. So you can point them out ahead of time and shoot them before they shoot you. I would highly recommend that you do that because you're going to be shot at a lot in this one compared to the first stage of Sky Attack. Or, excuse me, Sky Chase Zone. Why do they say Sky Attack? This is not Pokemon. Uh, so, anyway, now we're going up and over the ship. There's some other little fighter planes that shoot up there. There are probably Eggman's robots in the skies. I highly doubt he actually mans his planes. Eggman obviously doesn't have any friends, which is why he has to build robots to talk to. Uh, I mean, that's the only reason that I can see why he would build robots. Uh, he doesn't seem to have any human followers, or I should say any organic followers. Transform! Holy poopers! to this area here. This time I won't get blasted away by his lasers. And, uh, yeah, I said laser. What you gonna do about it, man? What you gonna do about it? Try and shoot all those mines in midair there. It'll just, uh, make things a little bit cleaner, so to speak, and it'll give you points. Ah! Give you points. And, woo, at least I think they give you points. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly positive on the matter. I don't know all the scorings. I guess I'll see when I shoot some more mines a little bit later, like these. Uh, let me shoot that mine. Dang it. Oh, I missed the mine completely. I guess the, the, mine, the mine point fiasco will be a mystery. You'll have to find out for yourself or something. Holy poopers, those went really, really fast. Woo! Ah! Well, now, when you shoot those bullets, you don't get any points, but those aren't, but those aren't the mines that I was shooting at, or shooting at before. Now let's shoot at them. Um, can I, um, yeah, they do give you points, I think. No, I'm not sure. Uh, I was trying to watch my score go up as, as they were getting blown up, and holy poopers, I'm over 13,000 points. Uh, I think I'm nearing the end of this now. I'm, I'm going to be starting to shoot the front of the cannon while it's going to be shooting at me in a very climactic, cinematic boss battle of awesomeness. Well, it's not really much of a boss battle. But you, I would highly recommend that you shoot all those cannons that are shooting at the front there. And uh, did you see what I did right there? I shot, I shot it when it opened up. Um, I shot the laser thing when it opened up. Now just stand in the center here and just wait for it to open up again so you're able to shoot it, and that should be it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this climatic boss battle. Kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah, I was a bit disappointed by that myself. I mean, the laser just decimated us the first time, but we did it so easily the second time, it's like, why couldn't Tail shoot him before? Was, it, was his plane not dynamic enough because it had to have that X-wing formation there or something like that? I don't know. Well, anyway, now we are on the egg carrier. This is the next adventure area that I was talking about way, way back. Uh, it's it's like Station Square and the Mystic Ruins in that you can actually explore it. Pretty awesome, I gotta say. Especially when it's in the air. 
Uh, I just, uh, I shouldn't actually spoil it. Well, your, your wings got kind of melded to the ground there, Tails. Well, anyway, it doesn't have any landing gear, and that, that wasn't very smart on Tails' part, even though he's actually quite a genius. But I don't know how he could have forgotten the landing gear. But how the heck did the plane tip over between cutscenes? It looked like it was sitting up pretty fine. Unless maybe Sonic's weight or something kept it hanging up there. I, I don't know. Well, anyway, we're on the egg carrier. Now let's flip around the camera and go up to the top here. And we're going to face off against Chaos 6. Don't get too many ideas, fools. You haven't seen the power. Oh, no, wait, this isn't it yet. Oh, wait, maybe it... No, I, I don't know. I do face Chaos 6 as Sonic, though. Transformers more than meets the eye. No. Now I can't reach the deck. Okay, the bridge. I was thinking that. I mean, I said the deck, but I meant the bridge. I was close. I was not Eggman. Well, actually, I kind of was. I played this game a bunch of times. Oh, I'll be able to figure it out. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll show you. Bring it on. Yeah. I will not lose to you, Eggman. Anyway, go up to here. This is the Sky Duck. My this very favorite. To the sky deck. And for some reason, Sonic gets flipped around on the hill. I don't know why. It's like he slides gradually towards the camera during that little cutscene. I don't know why he does that, but he always does it on that cutscene for me. It's so weird. And get in the dang Sky Duck, Sonic. This is Stage 8. Uh, this is probably my favorite stage in the game. It's just so action-packed. I love the music. And let's go! To speed your, um, to speed up to go around this faster, all you have to do is jump around the perimeter of it. Sonic clings to it like a carbuncle, and, uh... Yeah, he's, he's now a parasite. I'm, I mean, I'm comparing him to one. And jump over those hurdles before those platforms get shot. Yeah, they shoot out the platforms and they blow them up. And now we're changing at altitudes here, which will make the area all dark and cinematic. It looks so nice and awesome. And uh, in certain areas, I should say the second area, when he changes altitudes like that, um, it'll blow you off the ship if you're not careful. You have to be holding on to something. Uh, but that's a little bit later. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Let's just focus on the first area. I'll drop down onto this platform here. You can use that little whatever that was sticking off to the side as guidance. Sonic can get stuck on here and then start up. Wow, what the heck was that? Start up at full speed like nothing ever before. I mean, it's so weird. I have no idea why. Um, you can jump off of here and take a teeny bit of shortcut like so. Ow. Spiky balls hurt. Don't touch the spiky balls. Obviously, I just wanted to show you that they hurt. Um, you gotta time yourself to get around these things. Not too hard. Just go as soon as one ball passes you. Get on the ladder. And this is gonna fall! Woo! Jump up to the top area. Oh, I missed the top area. Oh, well. I'm gonna have to climb up there anyway. Um, use the homing attack to get across here. And I'm gonna try to climb up to the uh, third level here. I'm gonna get up to the third level from here. And I'm going to go around like this. And uh, am I going? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Excuse me. As you can see, that thing is blowing up the platforms. But it cannot blow up these giant pillars off to the side. Or the whatever the heck these are. It's like some sort of mass underneath. I don't know. Are these even part of the ship? Uh, what, the heck are, what the heck do these serve purpose for? Anyway. Oh, my goodness. I'm surprised I survived that. Oh. Uh, I can't believe I survived that. I really can't. Uh, well, actually, I would have just dropped down to the lower level, wouldn't I? Yeah, I would have been just fine. So what am I panicking about? Anyway, wait for the cannon to turn towards you and... Oh, Tails finished it off for me. I was going to say touch the rocket and uh, uh, just blow it up. Uh, this is the area that I was talking about when the ship increases speed. Well, it's, it doesn't really seem to be increasing speed. It just seems to be changing altitude. And when it does that, it, it, it gets all dark and stuff like that. And uh, you can hear a siren when it's going to do it. So, whoa, turrets. Don't like you, turrets. Try not to use the homing attack too much unless you want to hold on to something. 
and go up to here. And this part, get ready to race. Go, 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 go. Hit the checkpoint. Go forward, Sonic. Go, go, go. This part is breaking apart. Do not stay for anyone. Oh, go, 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 go. The faster you go, the better off you are. Oh my goodness. Holy poopers. Woo. And I guess that's done with that. And wait for this thing to face you. Grab the rocket, blow it up. Yeah, you have to do it when that thing is pointed towards you. Uh, hit the checkpoint. Now avoid these barrels of death. It is now Donkey Kong all over the place. And now it appears to be Choo Choo. Oh, wait, never mind. This isn't the part that I'm thinking of that's coming up. Oh, here it is. Choo Choo Rocket Arrows. Well, if you've ever played Choo Choo Rocket, the, the mice that follow the... Uh, um, it's sort of like a puzzle game. It's a pretty fun puzzle game. There's only two games made. Uh, it evidently wasn't very known. Um, I recommend it to check it out. Uh, it's for the Game Boy Advance or for the Dreamcast. I would recommend getting the Dream... Uh, <laughs> excuse me, the Game Boy Advance version. Um, it's basically a puzzle game. You try to get the mice to their rockets while avoiding cats. Uh, it's a very, very tough puzzle game. Uh, and you have to lead them to the rockets with arrows. Uh, it's like on a grid sort of uh, play field. I try to climb up here to get ahead of everything, by the way. Yeah, I, I just took a tremendous shortcut there to get to the top, rather than having to climb all those ladders individually and avoiding garbage. Yeah, that's a pretty nice shortcut I recommend that you try. And here's another one for you. Jump off of here and land on top of this thing. Hit that switch and go to the capsule. Ah, that's the end of Sky Deck, people. Well, that was fun. I recommended a game and played one of my favorite stages, if not the favorite stage. Yes. at the camera here. Sorry for that pause. I'm just looking at the time and I'm not sure if I'll have enough time. I might have enough time to show this off. Um, how to change the ship back real quick. Is that it? Well, it might be, no. But let's check out the bridge. Yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out the bridge. Anyway, jump on this thing if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Going up. Oh god, that's dizzy. So very dizzy. Well, I suppose if Sonic you know, spins all the time, he doesn't get dizzy, I don't know how, but whatever, it's the game. So anyway, we're going up to the deck, and now we gotta change the plane back to what it was. Oh shoot, cutscene, forget about that, let's watch the cutscene. Hey Amy, I mean Amy, ugh. Too late, no! Give me back the birdie. Oh, he released them. The birdie had a Chaos Emerald? How did he know? It's impossible. Does he, has a, does he have a Chaos Emerald detector or something? Gamma? Who's Gamma? Oh my goodness, who is this? What is your wrist Wishmaster Robotnik? That text was glowing. That is not good for the camera. Oh, I should say good for the walkthrough. Uh-oh. We gonna be facing off against them? Actually, I don't think we will. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Come on, cutscene end. Please end. I'm running low on time in this part. Arg. Oh, I will have to face off against them. Well, all you have to do is uh, jump dash into him. It's pretty easy. Yeah, this is all there is to the boss fight. It's already over. It's just like Knuckles. It's pathetic. It's sad. Oh, anyway, we've got some rocket music going on here. That robot certainly gets destroyed quickly for my Sonic. He's all sparkly and... Oh, no! Why is she stomping him? Yeah, you're always bugging me, Amy. Well, that explains why. Okay. What 
Well, I think that's all the time I have in this 